Chapter 273 Shadows of the Holy Ghost Church Who are you our released Bebe's hand after a while? He looked up at the rest of his companions and smiled as he said, What's happening, everyone? Even though we are in dire straits right now, are we worse off compared to the last big competition? Elder's senior brother is quite heavily injured, but fortunately, his origin energy is still intact. What happened during the last big competition? What were our cultivations five years ago? I only had two rings, while Elder's senior brother, second senior brother, and third senior brother had but four soul rings, even though they were the strongest amongst us. We still made it through, didn't we? Are we in a better situation now, or were we in a better situation back then? We should return with a landslide victory to welcome Bebe's return. According to the competition's proceedings, we only have to win five rounds in a row until Bebe's injuries recover. We only have to win two more before he can return to top condition. Everyone looked a little better after they listened to who you as words. Bebe was lying on the bed as he heaved a sigh and said, I'm sorry, everyone, it's my fault for being too careless. I'm not worthy of being your eldest senior brother. From now on, who are you I will be assuming command, and he will be the one arranging our battle strategies and tactics. The company nodded their heads, and nobody had any objections to this arrangement at all. Who are you I was held in high regard within the tank sect, as everyone had seen what he had given for the sect. Bebe lowered his voice and said, What I'm worried about is the Holy Ghost Church. They are an organization of evil soul masters, yet they can come to this place as if it's their right to do so, and they can even participate in the big competition. What does this mean? A painful look overcame his face after this statement, and his breathing became a little short and rapid. Wang Gonga hurriedly came forward and released her light type soul power to stabilize his condition. Bebe's blue lightning tyrant dragon could evolve into the radiant holy dragon, and that meant he was relatively more compatible with light type soul power. Bebe's condition stabilized a little with Wang Donga's help. He nodded in her direction as a sign of gratitude before he continued. This means that Yuao's speculation is right. The Sun Moon Empire are in cahoots with that organization of evil soul masters. Their alliance is simply too terrifying. Nobody here was stupid, and everyone grew a little solemn as they listened to Bebe speak. The Holy Ghost Church had been full of secrets and mystery ever since they appeared until now, and nobody knew how much depth or background they had. The strength that they had placed on public display was enough to prove how frightening this sect was. It was possible that they were even stronger than the body sect. The Dragon Emperor Dulo, Wang Xiao, was an ultimate Dulo, and also possessed the Darkness Holy Dragon Martial Soul. This person had once shared the same reputation as Elder Mu, and this meant a lot of things. The Holy Ghost Sect became a lot more frightening with Wang Xiao holding down the fort. Furthermore, the Scorpion Tiger Dulo, Zhang Peng, had also appeared before. He was a half evil soul master. And he was also a rank 96 transcendent duo. He could hold his own against Yan Shaosh. This was all that had been placed on display for the public to see. Then, how much more did they've hidden from sight and knowledge? The Sun Moon Empire's most prominent strength was their rapid development in soul tools, and this gave them an astronomical technological advantage against other countries. The Sun Moon Empire's advantage in this respect had become increasingly obvious over time, and the greatest weapon the native three countries had against the Sun Moon Empire was soul masters. Every country had several titled duo anchoring things down, and these titled duo were bred for battle. If any one of them could break through into an army's inner circle that was equipped with soul tools, the destructiveness and bloodshed that these titled duo could cause would be incredibly horrifying. According to the soul masters' unspoken rules, high level soul masters were not allowed to attack normal citizens, while those that could use soul tools were also soul masters in some sense. Furthermore, if push came to shove, those unspoken rules would mean nothing, as what was more important than a country's survival. This was the main reason why the Sun Moon Empire hadn't been doing much over the years. They had lost their Sun Moon continent title ever since the Holy War, and they didn't dare to lose a second time. If they did, the Dulo continent's three native countries that had been threatened by the Sun Moon Empire would never let them go. They would definitely give everything they had to invade the Sun Moon Empire, so that the Sun Moon Empire wouldn't have the breathing space they had all those years ago. The impasse between soul masters and soul engineers had led to the current equilibrium. The Dulo continent's three native countries were collectively stronger than the Sun Moon Empire, as they were three countries against one. After all, on the other hand, the first nation to move against the Sun Moon Empire would undoubtedly sustain the greatest losses, and this was the reason why nobody had done anything. This equilibrium had been maintained throughout the years. However, this equilibrium was becoming increasingly unstable over time. The Sun Moon Empire had enjoyed rapid had enjoyed rapid development and expansion in recent years, while evidence of their shady alliance with the Holy Ghost Church had also surfaced. The Holy Ghost Church had dared to come out in broad daylight. What did this mean? This meant that they were unafraid of being discovered. They were not afraid of being discovered by the Dulua continent's three native countries or by Shrek Academy, as these entities no longer meant anything to them. This probably also meant that the Sun Moon Empire was about to make a move, and they couldn't control themselves anymore. The Holy Ghost Church was composed entirely of formidable evil soul masters, and these evil soul masters had formed a symbiotic relationship with the Sun Moon Empire, who were adept with soul tools. If a war broke out, how could the Dulua continent's three native countries defend themselves? Ever since the Dragon Emperor Dulua had appeared, the Sea God's Pavilion had decided that Shrek Guardians would devote all their energy and attention towards the Holy Ghost Church's movements, as they couldn't just let their students and teachers give up their lives for nothing. The Sea God's Pavilion had already hosted multiple meetings and conferences to discuss the Holy Ghost Church. What did the appearance of an ultimate Dulu represent? No matter how. Much the Tang's ex-members didn't want to admit it. They were all extremely clear that the Dragon Emperor Dulo himself could suppress the entire Shrek Academy. Elder Sun was cultivating twice as often as he used to. Who are you out even heard from Shiashia that Elder Sun almost went insane because he was too hasty? The current master of the Sea God's Pavilion wanted to break through and become an ultimate Dulo as fast as he could, so that he could match up to Long Shiya. However, could he really challenge the Dragon God Dulo? Even if Elder Sun did become an ultimate Dulo, the Dragon God Dulo had been at this level for much longer, and it would be an incredibly challenging task for Elder Sun to defeat him. Elder Sun had once said that Long Shiya was possibly stronger than the body sex sect leader, Dubusi. Nobody would dare to argue if someone claimed that Long Shiya was the number one individual on the entire continent. The atmosphere in the room felt a little stifled. The Holy Ghost Church's appearance was no longer just a problem for the Continental Elite Youth Soul Master Tournament. Their appearance had affected the entire continent's political balance. Shrek Academy was located in the center of the Dulua continent's three native countries, and the Great Stardo Forest was behind them. However, could Shrek Academy avoid participation if war eventually broke out? That didn't seem very likely at all. Shu Sanchi lowered his voice and said, If only we had been born 20 years earlier, everybody concurred with his statement, even though they were all exceedingly outstanding members of the younger generation. They were still too young after all, and that meant their cultivations were still limited. They were still afar, far cry from the powerful individuals that could actually affect the direction of a war. Color returned to Bebe's face with Wang Gonga's help. He struggled to lift his hand and took out the golden medallion that Princess Juju had given him, which he passed to her Yuao. Yuao, go and look for Princess Juju, and tell her what we think. I trust that she is smart enough to understand enough to understand the gravity of the situation, and then we will continue with our original plan. Time is of the essence, so it can't be helped if we have to be a little hasty. They were here to represent the Tang sect in this season's competition, but they had other intentions besides simply promoting the sect. A sect's development was tied to two things, how strong the sect was, and the sect's finances. The Tang sect couldn't be considered powerful at all, but Shrek Academy was behind them, and they were located in Shrek City, so they didn't have to worry about their sect safety. That also meant that the most crucial thing they needed so that their sect would develop stably and quickly for a long time to come was money. Sun's when
Tang Pyre would undoubtedly buy them a better friendship and camaraderie with Princess Juju. This also meant that pushing out the Tang sex products afterwards would be a lot easier than before. A deeper cooperation wouldn't be easy, but a good start for their first encounter would be enough. Who are you? I took the golden medallion and nodded. All right, I'll head over right now. Get some rest, eldest senior brother. Shu Sanchi said, "Don't worry, I'll take care of him." Bei Bei snapped, "I'll be happy if you don't piss me off." Strangely, Shu Sanchi didn't bicker with him and said, "All right, that's enough. Get some sleep. Everyone should return to their rooms to take a break. This room is so small and there's so many people gathered here to the point where the air isn't so good anymore." Everyone left Bei Bei and Shu Sanchi's room one after another. Bei Bei watched everyone leave before he shut his eyes tightly, and images of Tang Yao's blank eyes surfaced over and over again in his mind. Xiaoya. A faint smile appeared on Bei Bei's pale face, but nobody knew what he was thinking about at this moment. It wasn't difficult to find the rooms where the Stalu National Academy was staying. With Princess Juju's Princess Juju's status, and in addition to the Stalu National Academy's exemplary results in the previous competition, they were arranged in the relatively higher levels. However, they weren't at the highest level. Huo Yuao held onto the golden medallion, and the Stalu National Academy's team members escorted him to Princess Juju. The princess was looking a little upset, and she was sitting on the sofa. Her expression returned to normal only when she saw Wang Dong push Huo Yuao's wheelchair into the room. Why are you here? Shu Juju nodded at Huo Yuao's a greeting, but her eyes were a little doubtful. Huo Yuao didn't answer her question. Instead, he changed the topic and said, The Star Luo National Academy can only stay in the second tier rooms. I wonder who's staying in the first tier rooms? Shu Juju's face turned black as she said, Who are you Yuao, are you here to piss me off? Huo Yuao smiled and said, Why should I? Compared to you and your company, the Tang sect and I are a lot worse off. We are staying in the worst rooms, and we have received the worst hospitality. I'm here today to tell you something important. Hey! Shu Juju was a little surprised, but she had great temperament and composure, and regained her calmness in no time. The truth was that she was just upset about being assigned to second tier rooms. She was the princess of the continent's second biggest country, and it wouldn't have been right if she didn't feel upset about it. The only difference was that she didn't express her feelings outwardly. Who are you? I said, even though I'm not sure which sects reside in the top tier rooms, I have seen one of them. This sect is intimately connected to the Star Luo Empire. Even though I'm at Shrek Academy, I'm from the Star Luo Empire after all. This is the reason why I'm here to tell you this piece of information. Shu Juju said, and you discovered what this sect is? Are they the body sect? Who are you? I shook his head and said, of course not. I haven't seen anyone from the body sect. I'm not sure if you've heard of the Holy Ghost Church. The Holy Ghost Church? Who are you? I reacted in surprise, as all he could see in Shu Juju's eyes was blankness and cluelessness. According to the intelligence that Shrek Academy had accumulated. This princess was in charge of the Star Luo Empire's intelligence works, yet they knew nothing about the Holy Ghost Church. This meant that the Holy Ghost Church were hidden deep, and it was likely that they had only been moving around inside the Sun Moon Empire. Who are you? Al tilted his head and said, I didn't expect you not to know anything about the Holy Ghost Church. That means I haven't come here for nothing. He paused, and his tone became a little solemn. The Holy Ghost Church have the Sun Moon Empire behind them, and they are a powerful sect that consists of evil soul masters. They possess a transcendent Duluo, and an ultimate Duluo as well. Who are you? Al's statement wasn't long, but everywhere crackled in Shu Juju's ears like fireworks. This calm and casual princess could no longer maintain her composure, and she sprang up from the sofa as if something sharp was poking her buttocks. She exclaimed in fright, What did you say? Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.